Today we have an awesome kit build for a five and a half amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from my friend Dennis at Denco, this time on Ham Radio Tube. You've probably seen a lot of videos of some guys building this kit. I've been a user of a Denco battery for many years. Dennis made me an early prototype and I have been using it and loving it for a long time. Now he's selling this as a kit. He's got his own branded batteries and I'm gonna build it but what's gonna be different about this video is I am also installing that little button, a voltmeter, and a USB-C charger. So let's hop on the bench and I'm gonna show you how to build this. So here's everything you get with the Denco battery. I do have a couple extra things, but when you get this, you're gonna have everything you need to make this battery pack. There's also a little QR code. You can go to his website and download the instructions. Make sure you have all the bits and parts. I have a couple extra parts though. We've got a little 3D printed jobby here and a USB. This is what was on my original Denco battery that looks like this. We had a switch, a voltmeter, and a USB. But I went ahead and I wanted a USB-C, so I ordered this off of eBay and I redesigned this little holder for the voltmeter and the USB and just 3D printed this. I'll try and leave links to these. I'll, I'll see if I can get an STL to this that I can put up on like Thingiverse or something. And I'll leave a link to this USB-C as well if you wanna 3D print these and uh, put that on your pack. But uh, other than that, everything's standard. So I'm gonna mostly follow the instructions, but we're gonna place things a little bit differently because we're gonna add a switch and USB and all that stuff. So let's have some fun building a battery. First, we wanna remove the tape off of the battery. We've got our pack positive, and over here is our pack negative. Take off that tape. And we're also gonna remove this capped on tape. Now, I'm not going to reuse this, but you should save this if you're not gonna do this how I'm gonna do with the voltmeter and everything. So just set this aside, because you will put it back on, and take it off of both sides. Do be careful, these are hot. Don't arc any metal or anything. And what we want to do is we want to just kind of scrape the metal. Uh, he recommends using sandpaper. I don't have any sandpaper, so I'm just gonna use a razor blade just to kind of, cause we're gonna put some solder blobs on here. So we just kind of want to scuff it up a little bit. And then here, here, and on both of these strips. And that's just gonna help solder adhere to this a little bit better. And don't forget your negative terminal. Next, I've added some double-sided tape to the 3D printed holder for the USB and the voltmeter. I'm gonna flip up this positive terminal and we're going to affix it right in between these little spacers there. And then I can fold this over and we'll solder our positive there, but that's not till later. Now we're gonna take the included double-sided tape and I am going to affix it. I'm putting my BMS uh, way back here and offset towards here because I'm gonna put this little switch right there for the voltmeter and stuff. I wanna leave a little bit of room on the side for a wire and stick her down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna apply some solder blobs to all of the strips where we're going to be attaching our wires. So use a little bit of flux here. All right. Now I'm gonna cut off the very end of this black wire from the BMS. I'm gonna put the power poles on last. Again, we're not totally following uh, the directions in order. This B minus is gonna go to the battery pack negative. So I'm just gonna wrap this around and we can actually cut this right here. And we're gonna trim off everything else and then we'll solder that. We're just gonna strip off a little bit and he recommends kind of fanning out that wire. And we'll go ahead and attach it right there. Helps to use something, some kind of tool to hold it down. This wire gets 
pretty hot, but there we are. Now we've got a good connection there. Next, we're gonna take this lead for the BMS. We notice we have one black wire and three red wires. That's gonna simply plug into our BMS. And the way this is gonna work is basically this black wire is gonna go to the pack negative. And then we have basically from the black wire, one, two, three, and four. So the first black or the first red wire is gonna to attach to the first pack in series. And then the second wire is gonna to go to the second pack in series. The third wire is gonna go here and the fourth wire is gonna to go to the pack positive. So let's make all that happen. And it'll be a lot tidier because we're gonna cut all these to, to fit. So I'm gonna wrap the negative wire underneath there and we're gonna come up right to there, that little solder blob. Cut that, trim just a little off or strip rather. And then we can tack right there, just like that. Next, we're gonna take the first wire from the black we're gonna route that. I'm gonna kind of route it over here and that's gonna to connect to the first batteries in series. Cut that. Strip a little. Now our second from the black wire is gonna get soldered right to that connection. Our third wire, we're gonna route to the third strip here. We'll leave a little room for some slack. And solder. And finally, this fourth wire is going to route to the battery pack positive. thusly. So our BMS is now wired, mostly. Next, I've applied some two-sided tape. This is the foamy, whatever two-sided tape uh, to my switch, and I am going to put the switch right here. And now that is installed. Beautiful. We can also go ahead and apply our USB-C board. Again, same dual sticky sided tape. Thusly, and the voltmeter is already wired, but we need to trim off these little tabs on the side for it to fit. So we're just gonna use some flush cutters and goodbye and goodbye. And now that should fit perfectly in there. And it does. And I've applied some of the Handyman Secret Weapon double-sided tape to that. And we'll go ahead and fix that in place as well. Starting to look like something. Now to wire the voltmeter in the USB-C, the voltmeter again already has wires on it. The USB-C, I'm gonna take a little bit of the black and a little bit of the red wire that we cut off of the BMS and use that for my wires. On our, right here is the positive and this is the negative, there are indicators there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just, Put a little bit of solder on the pad first, like such, and like such. Okay, then I can take my red wire, and we'll go ahead and install that. Now, both red wires, we're going to connect directly to the pack positive terminal here. So I'm just gonna use this solder blob and connect the two. So we'll go ahead, this is, this is the wire for the voltmeter. So we'll go ahead and measure that. Trim it and strip it. And then same thing for the USB. Go ahead and bring that over, measure it, trim it, snip it, and we can go ahead and add these two 
our solder blob collection. There's one. This is for the USB. So now all the positives are connected. Now we can tackle the negative wires. Again, same negative wire that we trimmed off of the BMS. And we'll go ahead and solder that to the negative side of our USB, thusly. And now both of these black negative wires, we're gonna solder to our switch on one side. So we'll go ahead and measure. I'm actually gonna run this underneath, keep it tidy, and measure. And strip. Same thing with our voltmeter. Go ahead and tin both sides of the switch here. That didn't take much. Go ahead and solder the USB wire and our voltmeter wire. All right, definitely did not melt the switch at all. Now I'm gonna solder the other negative side here to the negative of the battery. No, we don't wanna do that because if we wire this switch directly to the battery, if it accidentally gets left on, it can drain the battery and damage the cells. So I'm actually gonna tap it into the black wire on the BMS and make the connection there. And here I'm just gonna strip away a little bit of the jacket from the wire just to get some metal exposed here. And now we can solder both wires together and this way the switch is connected to the BMS so if the BMS shuts off due to low voltage, the switch can also not turn on and damage the cells. And then I'll use a little bit of liquid electrical tape to seal up the connection and everything is nice and tidy. Now we can make our final connection. We're gonna take our red wire that's supplied and we're gonna go ahead and uh, connect it right here to our battery pack positive. Just strip off a little bit of wire and fan it out. All right, now I'll go ahead and fish this wire underneath. Now he supplied a little zip cord. I'm not sure what he actually intended for this to be used for, but I am going to use it to hold these wires to the BMS. It should work. All right, now we can install our power poles. So we'll take our two supplied 30 amp power poles. Get a red and a black. We've also got a little tube of heat shrink. We're gonna go ahead and put the wires inside that. And I'm gonna do this one at a time because this pack is live. If these touch, you're not gonna have a fun day, which is why I cut that off earlier in the video. So we'll strip a little off of the red. Go ahead and insert our power pole connector and crimp. Okay, then we'll go ahead and put the power pole in its housing. Sometimes I find a flathead screwdriver is helpful. There's one, and we do the same for the black. Connect the two together. Red right, A up. And then we can go ahead and heat shrink our heat shrink tubing. Just like that. So now the last couple things I wanna do before we completely finish this up. I want to, one, make sure our pack works. I'm gonna plug in a little meter. We've got power, we're showing 13.35 volts. We're also showing voltage here, 13.34. That's fine, our USB works. Now I'm gonna charge the battery up and I'm gonna use my uh, battery load tester and do a capacity test. And as you can see, I'm discharging at three amps 
and we ended up getting 6.29 amp hours out of the battery so it is giving us over 100 percent of the 6,000 milliamp hour capacity so uh, fantastic it passes with flying carpets that is great next we're going to take this adhesive battery paper and we're going to just cover up the ends of it so i'm just going to measure here crudely and say oh it's right about there and he recommends taking a credit card or something. We're going to use my Texas State Park Pass and fold a nice crease in it like such. So that should go there. And then we're going to fold another crease. Oh, yeah. All right. And that is going to go and just protect the ends there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, though we have some wires. It's okay to cover up the wire, no problem. And we'll go maybe there. And theoretically, we'll peel off the back and stick it down. And the other side. Beautiful. Could have done better myself. Next, we can take our heat shrink and insert our pack through it. Mind the wires and make sure it's centered creases where we want them and then we'll start with our heat gun we want to work on the ends just a little bit to get them to start folding over very gently a little bit at a time all right turn it over Okay, it's like magic. We'll just start working the pack. And now I need to free the button and the voltmeter and the USB. So I'm just gonna take my razor and try to carefully cut those out. Not my greatest work, but there's the button. Now we need to free the voltmeter. And finally, our USB. Ta-da! USB-C, voltmeter, button, working battery pack. You gotta love that. Now, we have just a couple more things to do. We can affix our Denco sticker. It also comes with this uh, sticker to show capacity and voltage and all that stuff if you want. So let's go ahead and put our Denco sticker on. We'll go on this side. Beautiful. And then the piece de resistance. We have a ham radio tube sticker that will look just so beautiful right on the back of this. Don't you think? Now we got some branding. That is awesome. And check this out. No battery charging. See the little light? battery charging.